Well, hello there, strangers. Wow. It's been a long time, guys, since I posted a video, and I apologize. Welcome back to the homestead, the mud puddle. Yeah, it's been a long time, guys. And look, I managed to grow a beard. Wow, nice and gray. Shows my age. I'm about 25 years old. Anyway, guys, I apologize for taking so long. We have been very busy out here on the mud puddle, at the mud puddle. Uh, many projects going, and hopefully I'll be able to get you updated here uh, soon. Uh, today's video, I simply want to show you what's going on with the garden area. Uh, we are doing way better than last year. Uh, we are simply more prepared. And uh, yeah, we're growing a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, a lot of vegetables. Our fruit trees are now into their second year. Uh, obviously, they're not producing anything yet. It's too early, but they are looking really well. They made it through the winter, so we're excited about that. Uh, we've also planted, uh, let's see, four shade trees couple of ash trees and a couple of maple trees so we're pretty excited about that and we added more animals to the zoo that we have out here at the mud puddle so I'll be showing uh, showing you some of that as well again guys I hope to get you updated here soon on all the projects that we've been doing thank you for hanging in there I apologize for uh, being too lazy to bring my camera out but anyway guys thank you again for following thank you to, to all my subscribers I really do appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the video Take care, everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you on the next video. All right, these three there are all strawberries. This is a struggling grapevine. This one is struggling but not dead. Uh, blueberries, plantain. These are beans that were chewed on. These are beans that were chewed on. That's a bean that's not been chewed on. Just started these pickling cucumbers, plantain, and when these are mature, I'll put these around our fruit trees, our tree gill. These are all gonna be squashes, pumpkins. These are bush beans. Um, got a cantaloupe, and then I'm starting some other squash down there, different varieties, squash, cucumbers, zucchinis, things like that one of our pear trees. I've got, uh, this is a comfrey plant. These are clovers. Eventually this tree will be surrounded with other things like the plantain, um, lavender, and then I'll start putting some more herbs in there that are fruit tree friendly. They help the soil for the fruit tree. These are just decorative this year, my sunflowers. Another pear tree over there with some of the clover. I've got onions in here. That large plant, my Google lens says it's a pepper. I didn't try peppers last year, but we'll let it grow, see what happens. Just started this one. These are going to be, um, I don't know what that is. Uh, Carrots. Carrot fingerlings. That was her. Our row of corn. These are a surprise. These are called yakun, I believe. It's a wild plant, but underneath it, it should have a potato-like root that is sweet, almost like a fruit. They say it's a celery slash watermelon flavor. So we're gonna let that grow and see what happens. Getting ready to start another batch of the corn right next to it. These are my watermelons, I believe. I'm trying those directly in the ground. Some squash, some radishes in this one. First apple tree with part of its tree guild going in already, growing nicely. Behind you on the ground, my watermelon plant that hasn't been eaten. The other three have We don't know what this is. We looked it up once, but it's very pretty and it's healthy, so we're gonna let it grow. This is all beans. Different varieties of beans. They're very thirsty. And we've got a spider living in the corner. And this is our last apple tree with a couple things planted for the tree guild. 
All of our trees are two years old. This is our second season, made it through the first winter, and it was a pretty cold winter. We've had some bugs come and chew them, but I've sprayed them with a homemade deterrent, and all of the new leaves seem to be being left alone on all of them, so hopefully that will work. All right, this is a this year tree. We just planted this one a couple Mo months ago. Month yeah, ago? Month, about a month ago. It's a cherry tree. And then these are two. Oh, look at the butterfly. These are two years old. We've got two of them, one here, one further out in the yard. Oh, he's beautiful. These are two years old as well. Ash trees. Ash trees, yeah. And you can see the new stuff on top hasn't been... Oh, that one has um, All this stuff down here on the bottom is to keep the new puppy out of it because she's a little demon. There's a second one over there where the butterfly is. And then yesterday we planted... Yesterday we planted this one again with a nice pretty little thing on the ground to keep baby girl out. It's our maple tree, and it looks okay. It's been sitting on the porch for a couple days. We have another one on the porch. We just have to get it in the ground. Those are Nigerian dwarfs, three sisters. On one of my last videos, uh, I talked about putting this together. This is where they go in at night. We close it up so they're safe. This is part of our 20... I'm sorry, 19 baby chicks that we got about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. They've been introduced to the larger chickens. They're all over the place. This is part of their chicken run. And that's where they spend their nights. Our puppies, Bonnie, Pearl, and our new puppy who wandered into the property about a month ago. She's a... Kalahula Leopard. Kalahula Leopard. And we've got Blanche, we got Charlotte, and we have Carolina. And that's where they spend the night.